when T, my older member, when T said the first time to me, the next level, our computer said, well, you know, people aren't going to understand something like a reference to the next level. What does that mean? And yet if we, instead of saying the next level, we say the human kingdom, we get into religious terminology. We get into a, a degree of spirituality that is less than real, less than true. So an attempt to get to true objective terminology, the next evolutionary level or the evolutionary level above human, remember, human evolutionary level, evolutionary level above human. This whole series is about beyond human, synonymous with evolutionary level above human. There is no clearer terminology that we're aware of than evolutionary level above human. Rem I'm reminding you, you, the use of the term evolution there has nothing to do with Darwin and his theories or his principles. It has to do with life as we can discuss it in the science te textbooks, in biology or zoology, as kingdom levels and evolutionary levels, animal kingdom, animal evolutionary level, human evolutionary level, evolutionary level above human. And we've also discussed that the soul, whether we like it or have trouble with it or not, depending upon our listener or our viewer who may have difficulty with some concept of reincarnation, and let me remind you not to apply some of the concepts of reincarnation you may have heard of, but there is a type of reincarnation that we have told you is certainly for real. I mean, did not Jesus take a human vehicle if he had pre-existence? Had he never had a vehicle before he took that vehicle? Yes, he had had a vehicle before he took that vehicle. Was he not a member with the vehicle in our Father's kingdom before he took that vehicle? So he reincarnated, even though he, he's, his task was worse than that. He had to incarnate down a kingdom level or down an evolutionary level in order to take the vehicle that we call called Jesus. So, the reason we discuss the generic as against the religious terminology is try to help bridge the gap. Some individuals, you know, recently we had someone who is going to join the classroom and said, but I really have trouble with the Bible. I have trouble with uh, religious uh, concepts with religious terminology because in my childhood and my background, the history, I was so turned off by it. And so with that individual, we can talk the generic terms. We can talk evolutionary level above human. We can talk everything else that we talk doesn't seem to give much problem. But when we say things like Father or when we say Kingdom of Heaven or we say Kingdom of God, because of being run away from those terms because of bad experiences that came a, became a problem for that individual. Now, that individual has to overcome that problem. But in the same sense, we have to appreciate that fact and we can even understand why someone would be turned off by that kind of terminology. And here is the other extreme of that is someone who is so into religious terminology that that's what connects and they have to overcome that. They have to rise above the religious terminology and be willing to see the truth in the generic terminology without any hang-up either way, just seeking a clear understanding of how God's program of growth and development, both for the vehicles and for the souls, was designed. And so that's the reason we have to address the issue for you again, because it doesn't matter your what your prior orientation was as far as understanding of terms or your background. These are just some of the hurdles we have to make. We, so we try to kind of walk both sides of the fence. For those who came from the religious background, we try to help them connect by using those terms. And yet when we do, we try to also supplement them with more generic terms for those who had bad experiences and were turned off by those. So I think enough said on that topic.
Uh, Glenn, what's the next one on our questions? Well, if we want to discuss the different routes to the classroom, and maybe the two extremes that you mentioned, Yes, we do, and I'm glad you asked that question. Now, what he means by the different routes to the classroom, we're using classroom here synonymously with when individuals or souls are in an overcoming process, when they are on their way out of the human kingdom, on their way in the kingdom or the evolutionary level above human. Now, the reason we're discussing the extreme routes here is to give you some understanding of what happens to a soul during its awareness of the closeness of the next level. It's quite obvious that the next level has to be very 